Well, for Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we are continuing to celebrate Asian businesses, communities, and individuals here in Northeast Ohio. And what better place to spotlight than Cleveland's Asia Town? We take a look at some of what the community already has to offer and the big plans they have ahead. Yeah, yeah, a secret recipe, yeah. Aldous Lau brought along his secret recipe for bubble waffles, a popular Hong Kong street snack, when he moved to Ohio in 2017. I want to bring some traditional uh, food, uh, uh, some culture in, in this area. For many people, they, they know what's, what is Hong Kong street snacks. At least one, at least this kind of food, yeah, the, the bubble waffle. Ball Ball Waffle storefront in Asia Plaza, now a popular stop for the sweet treats. And it's clear why. This is the best. This is so good. Thank you. You are talented. But Lau got his start as a vendor at the Cleveland Asian Festival in 2018. The weekend-long annual event is one way Asiatown businesses can share their culture, goods and food with a wider audience. So it's important to showcase the culture in the greater Cleveland area because not many people realize that there is an Asiatown community here in Cleveland. At the heart of the festival is Lisa Wong, the event's co-founder and co-producer. This year, back in person, the festival is a way to celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander heritage while also inviting others to learn something new. I'm so honored to be able to bring and showcase entertainment, food and culture to the community. I think it helps people to appreciate and understand other cultures different from their own. Wong says surveys from past festivals show about a fourth of attendees had never been to Asiatown before. But there's so much to explore there. Over 20 restaurants, a dozen cultural shops, and five Asian grocery stores. Asiatown really represents this cultural beacon for Asians and Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders all around the region. So it's the only place like it in Ohio. For Karis Zhang, director of Asiatown initiatives at Midtown Cleveland, the future of Asiatown is bright. The community, located largely around Payne Avenue, is undergoing new projects. Zhang says the community vision is wrapped up in a phrase, growing home. The spirit of welcoming is so important to our experience as humans and feeling welcome in a place. And so I think Asiatown can offer that both to folks who, uh, who are Asian, and our hope is that it can grow to be, feel welcoming to anybody. While honoring tradition, Asiatown is also looking to the future. In the rice noodle, and also boba teas, and the fruit teas, this is, this is what we specialize in. Sheng Lung Yu, owner of Dagu Rice Noodle, is expanding his menu and dining options in Asiatown. He's creating a 10,000 square foot food hall on the corner of 30th and Payne, moving Dagu into the new space and offering up the latest trends in Asian cuisine. Well, every time I go to somewhere bigger city, let's say uh, Chicago or New York or LA, there's always something new exciting. And uh, that's, what, that's part of uh, the idea where we want to bring in all the newer uh, trend, food trend, to Cleveland, so we don't have to travel over the world for it. From bows to dumplings to skewers, you hopes the space will be a place for shared meals and memories. One that will encourage out-of-towners and Cleveland natives to stop by and discover all that Asia Town has to offer. I feel this is something that's very important to me and my, and my family and all my partners, something that we can contribute back to the Asian community. Thank you. So you says right now the food hall is in the permitting phase. He's hoping it's all going to be open actually by the holidays. Wow. And the Cleveland Asian Festival too, I wanted to mention May 21st and 22nd. Mm -hmm. This year I will actually be emceeing. That's awesome. So That's come say huge. hi. Right. Yeah. And that coincides with Cleveland Marathon. So there's gonna be so many people in town right. from all over the world mm -hmm. that come to run that will get to experience that and all the vibrancy that's provided by that community. That's fantastic. Thank you, yeah, absolutely. Really excited, mm. obviously so many gems in right. the Asiatown community already. Mm -hmm. Not a ton of people necessarily know about all of these really amazing shops and businesses. So it's a great excuse to go out and try. And like you saw there in the piece, big plans ahead too for more development and kind of modernization, if yeah. you will, in that area. That's exciting. I mean, he mentioned, you know, when you go to Chicago or a big city, there's mm -hmm. always new restaurants opening. There's right. always excitement around that. Mm -hmm. And to bring that to Cleveland, I mean, that that's a big thing. And I think right. if people can really, you know, grab a hold of that and understand what that feels like to have new choices, yeah. especially from around the world, you know, that's going to be a very positive thing. Yeah, and I will be first in line for all of them. Absolutely. <laughs>